Round three of the 2019 Super Enduro World Championship takes place in Madrid, and it's all about the top three who were all able to get through at the start of final one, with Colton Haker out in front from Taddy Blasuziak and Cody Webb. But the night would be all about what would happen behind those riders as well. You can see at the start of the race, those three riders able to get themselves out in the front in final one. But you can see how tricky it would be through that rock corner. Over the tanks, Taddy Blasuziak was able to make light work of them in final one. The Polish nightmare would certainly have his work cut out for himself in Madrid. Cody Webb giving chase in final one behind Colton Haker. It was the American out in front chasing his first final victory of 2019. Taddy Blasuziak was trying to come through the field. It was tricky for all the riders with congestion out on track, particularly through the rock corner. But it was Colton Haker who would come out on top, claiming his first final victory of 2019 and starting the night as he meant to continue. In final two, the reverse grid means it's all about trying to get through on that opening lap. Through the opening obstacle, there's a bit of congestion behind the riders, but it's all about what happens at the second obstacle. That was the tank jump in final two and for all these riders it's about trying to find the right place to pick the line because a crash for Kevin Gallus caused mayhem behind and it was Colton Haker and Taddy Blasuziak head over heels and both of those riders would have to fight their way through from the back of the field. At the front of the field the Spanish crowd were able to cheer on Spanish riders out in front and Paul Tarez was able to pick his way through the rock corner to try and get himself out in front. Torres, former trials junior world champion, suited the technical nature of the Madrid circuit, but he was soon under pressure from Cody Webb with the world championship leader, breathing down the Spaniard's neck. Webb was able to make his move stick and make it pretty comfortably, with Torres then just trying to latch onto the back of the world championship leader to try and score as many points as possible. Colton Haker and Taddy Blasuziak were both trying to recover from that opening lap and both made their way through the field. Cody Webb, though, that was able to pick up final two victory, and the American was able to maintain his momentum and that red plate. But behind him, Colton Haker was in second spot before a mistake at the rock corner, left him under pressure. And between himself and Taddy Blasuziak, it got too close for comfort across the line. Blasuziak crashing out, injuring his shoulder, and Blasuziak was not classified in final two. Final three was Colton Haker versus Cody Webb for the overall victory and into turn one it was Haker that got the whole shot but Taddy Blasuziak who was on the ground. Blasuziak crashing out of final three and after his non-score in final two he remounted to try and score some points but at the front of the field it was Haker versus Webb for the overall victory and the championship lead. It was until this point when a broken chain for Cody Webb robbed him of the chance of challenging Colton Haker for the victory. Lasuziak was back on board as KTM and trying to fight through the field to score some points, but it really was just a case of trying to keep going for Lasuziak. Cody Webb trying to fix his broken chain, and Alfredo Gomez, after an injury in the previous round in Germany, just fighting through the pain and running in P2 just behind his teammate Colton Haker. Cody Webb was able to rejoin and try and get out to score a point, but it was Colton Haker who was out in front and chasing that overall victory. Through the final section, Haker with a comfortable lead was able to cruise across the line to take his first overall victory of the 2019 Super Enduro World Championship. While Colton Haker was claiming the win, Cody Webb was just trying to finish the race and score a point. And the reigning world champion, that single point could make all the difference. <laughs>